and the community is coming together to help the owners of the iron skillet and others in Giles County hardest hit by the flooding. 10 News reporter Keisha Lynn was in that area today and spoke with those impacted. The iron skillet was just one business that was hit pretty hard in Narrows, but the community is doing everything it can to clean up. I was surprised by how much it did impact the inside and the outside. The iron skillet, typically filled with customers, is now empty with fans airing it out. It just opened earlier this year, but it was another restaurant way before that called Anna's. Now the community is coming together to help out, like Audrey Roberts, who is busy cleaning the kitchen. She owns Audrey's Fabrics across the street, which she says didn't get that much damage. Narrows helps its own. Uh, they needed the help. They're just getting started. And, you know, it's what we do. And Christopher Atkinson is lending a helping hand. It's a small knit community. When stuff like this happens, they all get together and I just want to be part of the team. Town manager Terry Nicholson says the supermarket next to the iron skillet got some water and the campgrounds also got a lot of debris. People who live there are now displaced. The county is working with them as well to get them temporary housing and ultimately uh, be able to help them find permanent housing. Nicholson says they hope to get help from Governor Glenn Youngkin, who toured the restaurant and handed out sandwiches on Sunday. Governor Glenn Youngkin says he doesn't know how much cleanup efforts will cost across the state. Keisha Lynn, 10 News, working for you.